Understanding one's health and being able to communicate with doctors and other medical care providers is an essential part in living a healthy and well-balanced life. One in seven Americans cannot comprehend basic health information. Adults with low literacy levels often fail to engage in early detection and preventive health care. They also have significant difficulty navigating the health care system and following their doctor's treatment plans. For a person whose second language is English, coping with health challenges can be a daunting task. The Florida Literacy Coalition, with generous support from Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Florida, has created the Florida Health Literacy Initiative. This statewide program combines English instruction with health education in an approach that helps students acquire skills and knowledge to make informed choices regarding their health and nutrition. The students find it very worthwhile to learn anything about their health and the health literacy grant has enabled us to concentrate a little more on teaching the health section to them. It's wonderful when you hear students saying, hey, I went to my doctor and I knew what he was talking about when he's talking about dosage. And it's because we studied that. Or they'll know the difference between OTC and prescription because we studied that. Some of our students are adults, some of them are very young and they don't really have a lot of experience. And so I think all of them benefit from, from the training that they're getting with us. Just in the last uh, two weeks, we had a student in my classroom that collapsed. She had an epilepsy grand mal seizure. And when I went to see her in the emergency room, she had nothing but smiles through her situation of not sure if she had any coverage medically because she was able to communicate in English. Using the Coalition's Staying Healthy curriculum, Teachers guide students to live healthy and become effective health advocates for themselves and their families. Program activities include health fairs, field trips, and student-led projects. Teachers and administrators believe the initiative is changing lives. When you are teaching, when you have a family literacy program in a very rural area that has such limited resources, a lot of our students it, it would be an hour drive for them to get medical care outside of this small community. There was a student who went to a health fair that we took all the students to, and that student never had understood what diabetes really was, and they knew that he knew that he had diabetes, but he thought when he went to the doctor and they gave him medication that once he was done with the medication, he was done. And so his, his disease was totally out of control. But by being at this health fair that was part of the curriculum we were doing, he began to understand the disease in a new way and was able to get treatment and now has it under control. By using the Staying Healthy program, we were able to do questions that our students might have for their doctor, be prepared for a doctor visit. Um, we learned about chronic diseases, symptoms of chronic diseases, and just more vocabulary for our students to, to learn. My husband is sick every day. I went to the hospital for my husband. My husband had mm, big surgery in this body. Um, I helped for my husband in the hospital, for the nurse, the doctor, my English help for, for my question, the doctor, for my husband. The things that learn in class, the parts of the body or the vocabulary that the doctors sometimes use that you don't know in the classes we are learning. Now um, I'm going to my doctor appointment by myself because so, I feel more comfortable, I can understand, I can understand what happened, what I have, what I, what I need to do the, before. I just need something, somebody to explain me or help me because I don't understand. When teaching English, I think it's important to have things that are real for students and definitely health, health care and health issues are real for students. I, I think that's the approach to teaching English. A student will be eating a bag of chips and I'll say, well, how many servings is that bag of chips? And they'll say, ah, oh, one, and it'll be, you know, four or five. And they don't eat chips in class anymore because they realize that that bag of chips is meant for a lot more people than just one. So they, they definitely learn. Greg Smith, executive director of the Florida Literacy Coalition, 
comments on the success of the program. The impact of the program has really been significant and um, that's really evidenced by our students and some of the changes that they've made in their daily lives. Uh, we're seeing students who are exercising more, who are eating healthier, who are accessing health insurance and health facilities locally. Uh, this is really where the rubber meets the road. Blue Cross and Blue Shields have been a fantastic partner in this effort. Uh, they've supported us through funding, they've provided a lot of moral support. They're really dedicated to the concept of providing community health education and they really get it. We've been able to go around the state and do trainings um, and workshops, uh, other professional development opportunities with teachers and tutors. We've been able to, through their support, uh, provide a special track on health literacy at the Florida Literacy Conference, which has really enabled us to expand beyond our initial training to introduce a whole other range of concepts that are, are fundamental to offering good quality health education. The partnership with the Florida Literacy Coalition and the support of the Health Literacy Grant Program um, has, I think, made great strides. And Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Florida has been really pleased with the results of the program. One of the things that I especially love to hear about, and I think is a true benefit of this initiative, is the fact that it's not just the students in those programs that are benefiting in every class and every year but that these students, so many of them, are then taking the information and what they learn, and they're taking it back to their homes, their communities, and they're sharing this information. And we know that it's reaching people way beyond just what's in the classroom. So many families, I think, through this program are now understanding, they're able to take charge of their lives, their medical lives, and to be able to get the kind of care that their families need, their children need, and be able with confidence to interact with doctors, to both tell the doctor the medical needs of their family as well as understand what the doctor is saying to their family. So I think when you think about the individual lives that are being touched all over Florida over this three-year project, I think it's building up a real uh, awareness of health literacy in so many pockets of our state. We're real big believers in contextualized learning. And this is a fundamental example of how that can really work. Students learning English in, this, in the context of also learning about health and nutrition. Remember, these are folks who are new to the country, who don't know our healthcare system, who are, have so many challenges in their daily life. We are you know, hoping that this is just the first step in a, in a continuing effort to be able to offer these services because we see that it works on the ground and that's really what's important.